As the island reopens its economy, a sense of normalcy is returning to the lives of nationals. The Cabinet of Ministers, based on the advice of the Chief Medical Officer, has agreed to the resumption of several social and economic activities under COVID-19 protocols. Effective Friday, July 10, 2020, cinemas will reopen. Early childhood development centers are to open, tournaments, sporting events and contact sports with protocols for spectators are being allowed. The yachting sector will reopen with strict protocols. The cabinet has also decided to lift the curfew. And the decision by cabinet follows the revision of the travel protocols for St. Lucia, effective Thursday 9th July 2020. Travelers will be required to obtain a negative PCR test within seven days of travel unless they are arriving from countries in a travel bubble designated by the government of St. Lucia. That travel bubble consists of countries in the Caribbean that have zero or low instance of COVID-19 cases. Travelers from those countries will be exempt from the seven-day pre-testing requirement. All arriving passengers will be screened, including temperature checks at the airport. Beginning Thursday, 9th July, international flights will be arriving at the Hiranora International Airport. Officials have been preparing the airport for the new order of business. Honorable Dominic Fede is the tourism minister. Uh, we were able to use the tents procured by Event St. Lucia for that purpose, and it is now installed at the Hiranora International Airport um, for the screening of travelers coming to our country as part of the preparation. But it also meant that the airport would have had to have been equipped with a lot of the equipment to be able to do the screening. Um, I'm happy to report that significant progress have been made in that regard. Um, the various walkthroughs, the various logistical um, uh, walkthroughs that have taken place have put us in very good stead in the preparation of our airports. Training have been done uh, with a lot of the hotel staff. We're up to um, hundreds. Um, we've uh, also been training our taxi drivers, customs and immigration officials, um, uh, officials from SLASPA, uh, also employees of the water-based uh, tourism uh, sector, uh, all in an effort to ensure that in every level of the tourism value chain, that we ensure that there's safety. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George explains how the protocols will be observed. We are going to ensure that every person who comes off a flight goes through this facility and then you, until they get, they will leave with a card of clearance, public health clearance, before they can even get into our actual airport. So everybody coming in will be fully screened um, those who need to be tested, persons who are symptomatic, we'll also be doing the test um, in there. Mm -hmm. We'll ensure that before you step into the main airport, you have gone through the, the public health facility and that you are cleared. So everyone will be assessed before they even get to customs, immigration, and the, the rest of the, the workers on the ports. A key part of St. Lucia's responsible reopening is the COVID-19 compliance certification process for the accommodation sector. To date, hotels that have received a COVID-19 certification include Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa, Sanders Grand St. Lucia, Stonefield Resort Villas, and Sugar Beach a Viceroy Resort. Several other hotels and resorts are on track to receive certification in July. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney says the aim is to keep both visitors and hotel workers safe. The ministry and the hotels have been working on very strict guidelines and protocols to protect the staff um, in terms of taking showers on properties, leaving their clothes on properties, their shoes on properties, that the properties will provide um, dedicated um, bus transportation for them so they will not be required to go on to the public buses. Um, they will be constantly um, having their temperature tested and they will have the proper PPPs, PPEs in place while they're at work. Similarly, um, the hotel guest, when they're in public spaces with, with persons, will be required to wear their mask, um, but certainly in their rooms and when they're on the beach, that will not be 
a requirement from what my understanding is. Um, but each of the hotels have developed specific protocols that have been approved by the Ministry of Health during that operation. Visitors can stay only at hotels that are COVID-19 certified. Amongst the required protocols, accommodations must sanitize luggage upon check-in, maintain a fully equipped nurse's station, observe strict detailed sanitization protocols for housekeeping, maintain required distance with tables for dining, and have hand sanitizer stations installed throughout the property. Sanitizing stations and showers for staff must also be installed for use prior to re-entering the public.